Whether you're a classroom teacher, a private tutor, or even a parent homeschooling their own kids, teachers often juggle various classes throughout the week, making it challenging to keep track of lesson plans and schedules in a streamlined way. What if your classes are at different times throughout the week? Maybe you teach different grades and require different lessons. Or how about even passing on some messages to your students? With every single class, organizing all these different lesson materials, student information, and announcements can become overwhelming and lead to chaos pretty quickly without a good system. So in this video, I'm going to show you how you can build your own class manager using a free, easy to use, and powerful organization tool called Notion. I will go through step by step how to build your own class management system. So if you're new to Notion and you're curious about how it can be used for teaching, then this video is definitely for you. My name is Milo, once an aerospace engineer back in Canada. I am now a teacher and content coordinator for one of the top English academies here in South Korea. On this channel, I show teachers how you can use Notion to speed up administrative tasks and just overall improve your teaching experience. Okay, so let's get into it. We're going to start by just creating a new page and we're going to give it a title, classroom manager or class manager. Let's make it uh, full width here. And we're going to start by creating our own our first database. We're going to go to slash database and click on inline. And here we can call this classes. We're going to delete this tag here because we don't need it. Delete this property. And we're going to add three different properties. The first property we're going to add is a day of the week property. Now, there is a slow way to do this and also a fast way to do this. So I'll show you the slow way first and then I'll show you the fast way. We can click here to add a new property and we can go to multi-select and here we could just manually add in each day, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and you can see that uh, they all appear here. But this is the slow way, so I'm going to show you a fast way on how to add all of these really quickly. We're going to delete this property here. We're then going to add a text property and we'll call this day of week and then we'll give it a calendar logo. Now in the text property here uh, or the text field here, we're going to type in all of the days of the week that we teach classes. So Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. We'll then change uh, this text property from text to multi select where is it? here we go. And you can see now all of the things we typed in in the text field now show up as options. So this is a really quick way to add uh, properties quickly. The next property we're going to add is a time of day property, and we're going to do this uh, in the same way. Now we could manually click on select property and then add in all of our class times, 9 a.m., 10 a.m., but this is really slow. And so we're going to do this the fast way. So let's delete this property here and then we'll add in our text property. Call this time of day. We'll give it a little time logo. Here we go. And so again, we could manually type in all of the times here, but we're going to get ChatGPT to do a bit of the heavy lifting for us. We're going to come over to ChatGPT and we're going to ask, give me all of the hours of the day separated by a comma in this format and we'll give it the format we like 9 a.m 10 a.m etc okay great so ChatGPT has given us all of the times we're going to select them and copy them we'll come back to our class manager and we'll paste them in here We'll then change the property just like we did for day of the week. We'll go from text to select property this time. Cool. And now you can see all of these times have been added. It's just such a faster way to add properties here. Okay. We're going to add our last property and this will just be a text property and we'll title it notes. Uh, this is just for you to add in any custom notes you want for each of your classes. I find this is just handy and just helpful to have. Okay, let's now add in some sample classes. Let's call this one English. We'll call this one history and we'll call this one science. Let's give it a few days of the week here. Maybe we teach Monday, Wednesday, Friday science. Let's just do all days of the week. Uh huh. And then we'll give each class a time that we teach 1 a.m. Let's change that to seven. Sure. And then I don't know, 8 a.m. Okay. 
Okay, we're now going to add another database view. We're going to click on this plus button here and click on board view. Okay, we're now going to change some of these properties here to have the board view show what we want. We're going to first change card size to small. We're going to go then to group by group by day of the week. Okay, we'll then move these around just so they are in order. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. We'll then come back here. Next thing we're going to do is have the board view show us some properties that are useful to us. Let's do time of the day and notes here. And then the last thing we're going to do is we're going to click sort. And we're going to sort by uh, time of day. Adding this sort will allow our classes to show up in order. So 8 a.m. will show at the top and a later time will show up at the bottom. Let's go back to our table view and just add in some notes as well, uh, just to so we can see what it looks like on the board view. Uh, what I do with my classes is I add in the grade level since I teach different grades for uh, my classes. So let's just do elementary, middle school, private class. OK, and now let's see how this looks on the board view. OK, awesome. OK, let's just make these a little prettier now by adding in some custom icons. You got to make sure everything looks nice when you're messing around with your Notion setups. OK, there we go. OK, the next thing we are going to do is now create our class template page. To do this, we're going to go up to the top blue arrow here. We're going to click on new template. And then we'll full screen this here. We'll call this new class. And now this is where we can start adding in information that we would require for each of our classes. Uh, this template, we can then copy over multiple classes to include all of the information that we might need for every single class. So I'm going to add in a few uh, kind of sample things here. Maybe we can add in a class title. You can put in your teacher email, maybe phone number, information for the students. If you plan on sharing this class page with the students, we could add in a class description, right? Add in a class description here. Maybe we'll make this a bit bigger so we can see it. We could also maybe add a more detailed uh, schedule for our students here by just adding in, say, a table. Maybe we'll make this here. And so if you wanted to share this class page with your students, you could provide more detailed schedule information. So maybe like 9 a.m. to 10.30 a.m. I don't know, whatever, whatever you choose. You don't have to include this. It's just a sample. Something else we could add are announcements. Uh, you could also put these announcements at the top of the page. Again, if you're sharing these class pages with your students, announcements can be really helpful. You can do this by creating a callout box, maybe changing the color, right? No homework for this week. Another thing we could add, maybe you want to include some quick links or page resources for your students. So you could even create custom pages, uh, say like class information or kind of any helpful resources that are specific to that class. Right. So let's go back here. And then the last things we're going to add, which I would say is probably the most important, is an area for your students and your lessons. So let's add in students here and then we'll add in lessons. Uh, we'll leave these blank for now because later I will show you how to add in uh, a student and lesson database to these class pages. OK, let's go back here and now we have done setting up the template. So right now this is the basic form of the class manager. Uh, but now we're going to add a little complexity by adding in a student's database and a lesson's database. This way we can link students and lessons to specific classes. And this is where you can get a uh, really powerful functionality through Notion and through these linked uh, databases. 
So to get started doing this, I'm going to create two databases similar to the way we did with the class database. I'm going to call this students. And then I'm going to make another database called lessons. Okay. I'm going to then delete these tags because we don't need these. Delete. Delete. Okay. And on both of these databases, I'm going to add a relations property and link that relations property to the class uh, database. So click on the plus here. Let's go down to relation. And we're then going to click on the classes. We're going to click on show on classes. So there is a two way communication between the two databases. And we're going to click add relation here. Now, if we go over to our class table here, we can see now that uh, the student relation property has appeared here. Let's kind of make these a bit smaller here so you can see this a bit better. Great. So let's now add in some sample students. Let's add in Milo. That's me. Maybe some Mark and Sarah. Now, if we go into classes here and we tag each student to a different class. So let's tag Milo to science, Mark to history, Sarah to English. You can see that the students uh, are now pop up here in the classes. Let's do the same with lessons here. Let's click on the plus. We'll go over to relation, tag classes, show on classes, add relation. So now over here in the classes database, uh, the lessons relation property has now appeared. Let's create some sample lessons as well. Let's say this is an English lesson. We have a history lesson and what a science lesson. Okay, and then we'll tag these classes as well. English, we'll tag with English, history with history, science with science. Okay, and again, on the classes database, you can see now the lessons, history, science lessons up here where they should be. Okay, now the interesting part. We're going to have the student database and the lesson database show up on the class pages, but they're only going to show the student and lessons that are tagged to that specific class. So to do this, we're going to come over to our student database here. and We're going to click on copy link. We'll then go to our template that we made earlier. Click on edit and we'll go down to the student section that we have here and we'll paste in the database we just copied. Click on create linked view of the database. We'll click on table. That's fine. And now we have the student database uh, showing up on this class template. Now, right now, all of the students in the student database will show up and that's not what we want. We want only students that are tagged to a specific class to show up. And so to do that, we're going to click on filter. We're going to filter by class and you're going to click on this new class template here. What this will do is that every single time you create a new class and apply this template, uh, it'll only show students that are tagged to that specific class. We'll hide this database title here and we're going to do the exact same thing with lessons. So let's go back here. Lessons database. We'll click on copy link. We'll come back up to classes edit template, scroll down to lessons, paste in our linked view here. Table is fine. And then we'll click on filter, filter by classes. And again, we'll click on new class here. Okay. Then hide this as well, make it look a little nicer and we'll come on back. Okay. Let's now apply our new template to each of our classes and see if it worked. We're going to click on English here and we'll click on new class. While this is loading, let's move these around here and make this a little nicer. Maybe we can add in some icons as well for lesson, maybe a book. Okay. Student. Let's add property student. Uh, this one's good. Okay. There we have our template loaded. Now let's scroll down here. And now we can see that the only students that will show up on this class page are students that are tagged specifically to this class. So Sarah is tagged to English and therefore she will show up in this English class. Same with lessons uh, as well. And so this is where you can get extremely organized. Uh, even if you teach many classes and have tens or hundreds of lessons or even hundreds of students, uh, I teach about over a hundred students over 
maybe 10 or 12 different classes throughout the week. And I just find this is such an easy way to organize everything. Okay, let's go back to history. We'll apply our new class here. Now we can see that only the history students and the history lessons will show up. We'll do this on science as well. And now we can see our science students, science lessons here as well. Okay, so now we basically have our class manager made, but we're going to uh, kind of organize it uh, a little nicer. So to do this, I'm gonna add in two columns here. We're gonna call this, um, we'll call this quick links. And we will call this classes. Okay, and we'll drag over our table class here kind of adjust it here. Let's go back to board view because board view is pretty nice. And now what we're going to do is we're going to take these, uh, the student database and lessons database, and we're going to turn it into a page by clicking on this and turn into page. I'm going to do again for the lesson, turn into page, and we're going to drag these up to quick links. Now what this did is it turned our inline database into its own database page. So you can see if I click into students here, we have our database right here and same with lessons. This just makes it a little cleaner and easier to manage all of your databases. Knowing where your source database is in your kind of workflow and your setup is pretty important. We're also going to do the same thing with our class database. So we're going to click on turn into page and we're going to drag it over here. What we're going to do now is click on copy link and we're going to paste it back over here. So what this will do is create a linked view of the source database. So we're going to click here, we're going to click on board and we're then going to add in our table view as well. The class table. Okay. So now it's kind of back to normal, except that the class page here is now our source database. So any changes we make here will be applied to all of the link views of this database. Before, our source database was here. And so if we deleted this view, we would have lost our class database. Now, if we want, we can delete our board view, table view, and we will not lose our a uh, class list. Basically, classes, students, and lesson database pages here are the source database. There we have it. We have now created our class manager. As you can see, we have all of our classes throughout the week. If you want, you can just click on new class here. One final thing we could do is also set the template to default. So let's click that here. And so if we were to create a new class, we could just click on new. And then we can go into the page here and edit a new class. Maybe we have an art and design class. And you can see that uh, the template has automatically been applied. And also the filter has automatically been applied as well. We have all of our class databases here and all of our students. And that's it. That's how we create our class manager. Having a class manager like this can be extremely helpful if you teach many classes throughout the week, you have many different types of lessons and students, and you just need some kind of way of organizing all of the information that you need for each of these classes. I use a similar system to this for my own classes. I teach around 150 students over about 10 or 12 different classes throughout the week, all at different times, different skill levels, different lessons. And I find this is just an extremely easy way and efficient way to manage all of this information. And if you are interested about how Notion can be used for teaching, go and check out my website where I have a huge selection of free templates that are for various purposes that teachers might use in their classroom. And that's all I have. Thank you so much for watching.